Okay, everybody, welcome back. This is Mr. Wirtz, and I am going to show you how to format your paper for MLA8. Okay, so right here we have an example research paper about how homework is bad for students, and we have our citations done inside. Look, you can see a beautiful in text citation, beautiful, right? And that lines up with our works cited page. So basically, everything has been written. We are just going to make sure that it is formatted correctly. So let's start up at the top. First thing we're going to do is insert page numbers. So we're going to put page number, go to insert, header and page number, page number, and then it's the first option. That's going to put your page number in the top right. Now, Google is smart enough that it will automatically update the page number for each subsequent page but we are gonna put in our last name next to the page number. So we're gonna pretend that a uh, student named Jane Bennett is writing this paper. So I'm gonna put in Bennett and put a space and then the one. They're on the same line, they're right next to each other. And we do not click this, so that is the header. Whatever you type in the header will go on every single page in the heading section. So what we're gonna do next is just on the first page, so we're just going to put it on the first page. And this is tutorials really for Google Docs. It's a little different on Microsoft Word and Pages, but not very much. Just the commands are in different places. From the top right corner, top left corner, excuse me, we're going to put your student name, Jane Bennett. And you're going to put your teacher's name. If you are in college and you have a teacher with a PhD, you're going to put doctor. If they only have a master's, you're gonna put professor. Since I am a grade school teacher, we are going to do Mr. Hertz. Then what class are you in? Well, I'm in English one and I'm in block four. This just helps your teacher keep track of what paper goes with what class so they can keep everything organized. And then you're gonna put the date that you turn it in. Let's say January 7th, 2019. And there you go. It stays on the left side of the page with a one inch margin. To change your margins, you go to page setup, file, page setup. Make sure everything is at one. Then you just put in your title. Your title is not bold, it's not big, it is just standard title right there. We're going to put that in the center of the page. Now we are going to select everything. So press Control A, that highlights everything in your document. And we're gonna make sure it's double spaced. So we're gonna put custom spacing, and then the two should be right here, and zero, zero. This gives, these paragraph spacing gives extra space before and after paragraphs. So sometimes you can see, like here I'll show you, that it is just too much, too much space. Like if you put in two there, then it'll add an extra space and we don't want that so we are going to go back remember it's two zero zero for the double spacing now we made sure all of our paragraphs were indented good half an inch always indent your paragraphs we are going to go down to our works cited page because the works cited page has a special format we're going to also press Control A. Make sure that all of your font is Times New Roman, 12 point font, no bigger, no less. Don't try to take up more space with another font. Works cited goes in the middle at the top of the very, at the next page after you're done with your writing. Then all your entries need to be double spaced too. We're going to highlight all of our works cited entries. Now we're gonna change it so that it has a hanging indent. That means that every line after the first is going to be indented half an inch. So to do that really easily, you just highlight it all, and then up here at the ruler, you're gonna take the left indent, which is the triangle on the ruler, take it over to 0.5, not 0 0.05, 0 0.5 or half an inch. Then you take the rectangle from above that triangle and you take it back to zero. And there you go. So now you can see the start of the citation is steakly, 
and then the end is October 14th, and they all have a space there. Okay, so now let's just look back over. You should always look over your papers and read them out loud before you turn them in so you can catch any silly mistakes. You do not need any highlights. Okay, those were in there for us to use as an example, but we're going to get rid of them. This paper asks that the thesis statement is in bold, but for most papers, you do not have to do that. But if your teacher asks you to do something, even if it's not standard for MLA, you should do it because they are the ones giving you the grade. So it looks like our paper is beautiful and clean, and now it's super easy to read. And that is how to format your paper for MLA. Good luck, everybody.